Hey, good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for coming here today, and uh, more sorry to, uh, to keep you wait. And my name is Aaron Lau. I'm the uh, founder and CEO of uh, Target. So Target is a company we are doing Salesforce and WeChat integration. So for all you guys coming here, how many of you are using WeChat? OK, we have about 60%. And uh, so WeChat, as you probably know, so we, WeChat has personal account, which is what everybody's using. So WeChat also has business accounts, which are for companies for doing marketing, customer service, and sales. So what Target does is Target connects a company's WeChat business accounts with the company's sales force. So once you have the connection, uh, the company can do a lot of things. WeChat marketing, WeChat customer service from within Salesforce. So today I'm going to show you how, uh, how as a WeChat customer, what I can do, how a company using WeChat business accounts, how they can support uh, a customer, a WeChat customer. All right, so what you are seeing from my screen, this is a WeChat business account. As you can see from here, let me uh, make this window a little bit bigger. So this is a business account, actually it's a service account, and it has 624 followers. And we got 32 new followers from the past seven days. And uh, there are four messages awaiting my replies. So what I'm going to do is, um, so this is a company, and this one, this is my WeChat personal account. Let me make this window a little bit smaller. Okay, this is the best I can do. All right, so this is my, um, this is my uh, WeChat personal account, and this is a business account. What I'm going to do is uh, I am a customer and I have a question or I want to contact the company. This is very common in China. If um, you're in China and then you have a question to say uh, your bank or uh, the travel agency that you're uh, buying uh, flight tickets from, whenever you have questions, you send them a WeChat message. Uh, you send a uh, WeChat message. You do not call them. You do not send them an email. And by using WeChat, it's the best way uh, to contact them. So what am I going to do is uh, I'm going to send a message to them from my personal WeChat account. So I say hi. All right, so my message was already delivered into their Salesforce into this live chat window. They can come back to me, they can send me an emoji, or they can send me an image. So the company is going to have a party uh, later next month, and they want to invite me to join the party. And this is uh, a WeChat invitation. So what's special about this invitation is it has a QR code at the bottom right. Uh, so this is a WeChat QR code. For all people receiving this invitation, they can, uh, they can easily scan the QR code from their WeChat app, and they will accept the invitation. All right? So they can also send me a survey. So this is a survey they have uh, in Salesforce. So I already received the survey from my WeChat personal account. I can open the survey from my WeChat. I can complete the survey. So let's say I really like uh, this experience. I want to do a free trial. I want to do that as soon as possible, and they can contact me. So I submit the survey, and the survey data was already saved into their Salesforce. So a little bit later, I will show you that information. So basically, a, a company can use this live chat window by, um, uh, to, to interact with the company's WeChat customers. So they can have a live conversation. Whenever a customer has questions, this is uh, where a customer can uh, let the business know, and the business can well support them. So one other thing I want to I wanna do is, um, so let's say uh, I am a customer and I want to log a case. 
So we are all using Salesforce, and we know that we can log a case to Salesforce, right? And you need to go to the upper right corner, and then you need to uh, click a few steps before you can log a case. So by using uh, Charkit and by using WeChat, uh, that can be quite straightforward. So what I'm going to do is um, I have a QR code, and the QR code was created specifically for logging a case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan the QR code from my WeChat. All right, I scan the QR code and Salesforce, I'm having a conversation with Salesforce, by the way, and they asked me, what is the case about? So let's say I have a question. So I send them the question, well, uh, they come back to me saying, could you please provide more information? Yes, so I can do that. So I will say, I want to know the pricing information. And after that, I got another reply saying, well, what's the type of the case I'm logging? So clearly, this is a question. So I'm going to reply three. And after that, they asked me how urgent this is. So I want to know the information. I want to know the pricing information ASAP. So I'm going to say this is a higher priority. OK, and then they asked me if I have any photos that I want to upload. It turned out I do want to do that. So let me uh, go ahead and upload two photos. So I took a few photos uh, from Dreamforce two days ago, and I can upload them into uh, their Salesforce. OK, I just did that. and um, I'm done submitting all the data, all the information I have. So what I can do is I'm going to reply with zero. That means uh, I provided uh, all the information I have. So as you can see from my personal WeChat, this is, this is the, the case summary. And after that, I also received a notification. This is the WeChat notification that can be delivered to my WeChat personal account each and every time the case status is changed. So in China, this is very common. Each time you use your credit card, and then there is a notification for the transaction. Uh, you buy a flight ticket, and then you, you receive a notification. So in China, this is the best way to inform your customers something is happening. All right, so I log a case. So the case number is 1110. So let me go to Salesforce. I want to show you what the case looks like. OK, as you can see, this is the case number. This is exactly the same case. Uh, I'm going to open it. So in the case, um, I have, I can see the basic information. And at the bottom of the case, there are two attachments. Remember that I uploaded two images, and the two images were already saved into the company's Salesforce. So basically, by doing this way, all customers, they can easily log a case to the company. And the best part is there are no people, there are no customer support agents involved in this process. This is fully automated. A company can uh, create a fully automated customer support process. So whenever their customer have questions, they can easily reach out to the company. And then just QR code can be printed onto the product label, can be put onto the company's website, or they can be uh, printed onto brochures, et cetera. Um, so this is just a quick example how customers, WeChat customers, can interact with the company by logging a case or by sending a live chat uh, message. So what else I want to, I want to show you is, uh, so this Dreamforce, we are all talking about Einstein, right? And Einstein is the, the artificial intelligence, and it's only going to become more helpful, more powerful. So what we can, what can we do today by using Einstein? So Tracket already supports Einstein. Let me show you what we can do. So let's assume that I bought a, uh, a sunscreen. However, I don't know how to use it. Um, well, in case like that, what I can do is, um, so this is the Olay sunscreen I bought from Costco a few days ago. And um, I'm going to upload a photo. 
So this is the photo I took two days ago. I sent it to Salesforce, and uh, well, it told me wait a moment. And actually, Einstein is doing the analysis. All right, it came back to me saying, well, this is Ole, and uh, the probability is about uh, 73 percent. So from here, there can be different options. Like uh, uh, there can be an option allowing me to add this item into my shopping cart, right? Or it can uh, send me a short video uh, showing me how to use this sunscreen. Or there can be uh, many other options. So this is a great example of how a business can use Einstein, how uh, a business can use Tracky to better support their customers. I'm sure that um, Einstein is going to be uh, more powerful and there will be more features available to WeChat customers. And um, yeah, so uh, WeChat is really powerful and even this, uh, compu uh, even this printer is connected to WeChat and Salesforce. So what I can do is, uh, you know that in China, we if we have marketing events, people will come to uh, uh, come to the event and they do need to check in, right? Just like a few days ago, we came to Dreamforce, we needed to check in. And by using TrackIt and WeChat, the check-in is actually quite straightforward. What I need to do is just to scan the QR code for the check-in and then my badge can be quickly printed. All right, I just did that. And again, this printer is connected to Salesforce and WeChat. It just printed my badge. So this is a badge like this. It's uh, actually a sticker. I can peel it off and I, I can attach it to my shirt. So usually well, if you are uh, organizing a marketing event, like 100 or 200 people will come to the event, this is the easiest way for allowing people to check in the event and then they can easily attach the sticker onto their t-shirt. <clears throat> so what I have been showing you is mostly about um, customer service. Well, today, if you want to do business in China, you want to make sure that your customers are satisfied so they can um, buy more things from you. They can, um, uh, they, can, uh, they can get the word out. They can refer their friends to buy your products. And by using WeChat is the best way to do so. What about marketing? So, Actually, let me switch back to uh, Salesforce Classic. Well, today all companies in China, they are uh, using WeChat for managing their marketing events. And in Salesforce, the way we do that is, um, uh, first we do need to create a Salesforce marketing event. I already have one, and this is Dreamforce 2017. So. We have, so for WeChat marketing, uh, the QR code is a very critical part. You want to use QR code for everything, for checking in, for your invitation, for receiving payments. So if you go to China, you will see QR codes everywhere. And the same thing for our marketing event. We have four QR codes for uh, checking in, for log a case, and uh, for a few other things. And for all people scanning the QR code, they will be saved into the marketing, e marketing campaign as campaign members. So that means after this Dreamforce is, uh, uh, is over and then we can send out WeChat messages to our people who are involved with our marketing event. So instead of sending you an email, you can expect receiving a WeChat message from us. And again, so when we are running a marketing event, the goal is to generate revenue, right? And uh, so, so far today, we have been able to generate, well, three opportunities. Uh, we can, well, if we can close those deals, that would be pretty good. But again, today we are using, as a company, we're using our, our own product for for, for marketing, for sales, and for customer service. And then uh, by combining the 
WeChat data with the Salesforce CM data, that can really generate a lot of uh, uh, potential and the possibility how we can increase our sales, how we can uh, support our customers. Um, well, this is uh, part of what Target can do. There are actually a lot more. Like a company can set up a WeChat store front, and then uh, the WeChat store is available to one billion Chinese people. Or they can, um, uh, a business can manage uh, sales orders, manage inventory, and track delivery all within Salesforce. But basically, what we are trying to do is for businesses, all their customers, they only need to use their WeChat app to interact with the company. And then for the business, they can use Salesforce for doing everything. And over time, the most valuable part is the data. You want to generate the data from your WeChat followers, their activities, so later you can use the data in, in order to understand your customers' buying behavior and uh, their interest in your product, etc. All right, so this is what I wanted to show today. And well, again, thank you very much for coming. Uh, we still have about four or five minutes. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions. We also have a booth right over there. And uh, feel free to go. And I will be very happy to meet you and uh, answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.